Sylvester Stallone once dumped his wife, Jennifer Flavin, over FedEx for another woman, but they worked things out. After getting married and having three children, Stallone's wife filed for divorce, ending 25 years of marriage. Then they worked things out again, but the actor had to make some serious changes for the sake of his family. In 1988, Sylvester Stallone and Jennifer Flavin first met. The beauty was a 19-year-old valley girl visiting Hollywood. One night, she was out at a restaurant with her friend when she crossed paths with the dashing actor. I'm going with a friend of mine, Sylvester Stallone, to dinner, and do you want to come with us? Do you want to meet us there? And I'm like, oh, sure, I'll meet you there. Stallone was in his early 40s and had already been married twice. He also already had two sons from his previous marriage. Nevertheless, the pair felt an attraction and struck up a romance. She's incredibly organized, she's beautiful, she goes to the gym, she raises beautiful children, she's, everyone likes her. How about everything? <laughs> it was two years after this encounter that the couple made their relationship public at a Los Angeles gala. They were dressed to the nines and looked perfect together. Fans of Sylvester believed this relationship would be the one that lasts because of how happy the two looked when photographed together. Sadly, in 1994, Stallone brought the almost six-year-long romance to an end. The star sent his then-girlfriend a letter through Federal Express in which he dumped her. He sent me a six-page handwritten letter and pen. It was pretty sloppy, Flavin shared at the time. Even though the breakup was a six-page ordeal, Jennifer never learned the real reason why Sylvester dumped her. Then, a few days later, she found out from her agent at the Elite Modeling Agency that her man had been having an affair with supermodel Janice Dickinson. According to reports, the other woman had given birth to a baby girl who was widely rumored to be Stallone's child. After discovering that Dickinson was pregnant, the actor quickly ended things with Flavin and proposed to the supermodel. Jennifer was young and in love, so the news was hard to swallow. She said the split had hit her like a ton of bricks. He was just that perfect man to me. Maybe he's not perfect for everybody. For me though, every time he came around, I was always got excited. I was always happy to see him. I had no idea this was going to happen. We talked about us having children, about when I was going to get pregnant. We were already picking names, marking down names that he liked and I liked, the entrepreneur confessed. How heartbreaking. Flavin mentioned that she cleaned her apartment five times, removing anything that reminded her of Stallone, including many pictures. I was disappointed. You can't just write somebody off in a letter after six years. It's not like I was going to try to beg him to come back to me or anything. I just wanted to talk, she shared. The Expendables star later found out through a paternity test that he was not the biological father of Janice's baby and promptly ended his relationship with the supermodel. The star found his way back to Jennifer in 1995, who graciously decided to give him a second chance. I, I think she's fantastic. She's an amazing woman. I tell her that every he day. Does. I don't know how she holds it together. She's just amazing. I'm... By August of the next year, the Lovebirds welcomed their first daughter, Sophia Rose. Unfortunately, after her birth, Sophia was found to have a hole in her heart and needed surgery. Cardiothoracic surgery specialist Dr. Hillelax performed it successfully, and thankfully, baby Sophia went back home with her parents safe and healthy. After going through that scary time with his firstborn, Stallone presented a check to the Heart of a Child Foundation, a Los Angeles-based nonprofit organization, to benefit from research on congenital heart defects. By 1997, Sylvester had decided to spend the rest of his life with Jennifer. Every day is your day, honey. You know I wouldn't be here without you. In May of that year, the couple wed in a civil ceremony at the Dorchester Hotel in London, followed by a chapel ceremony at Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire. Only about a dozen close friends and family members attended the wedding. Before the wedding ceremony, Jennifer's older brother, Mitch, gave a statement to People magazine. When they got back together, it seemed they knew what they wanted. She knows that Sly is pretty much settled down. He's getting older too, you know, he said. A year after tying the knot, the couple welcomed their second daughter, Sistine Rose. By May 2002, the Stallone Flavin family grew by another girl named Scarlet Rose. Being a kick-ass action star with three little princesses at home must have been something. But he's oh. actually like a really soft at really, heart. So like we've brought boys home to introduce, mm -hmm. I mean, we get nervous more than the guys do. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, they're freaking out. Jennifer once gave an inside scoop on what being a dad with three little girls was like for the star. The California native shared that their eldest daughter is just like her dad. Like him, she has read nearly all of Shakespeare's books. They have a very special bond. They think alike and even have the same gestures, the businesswoman shared. 
How adorable. Things were going well for Stallone and his family. In 2018, the fam was spotted visiting a restaurant to celebrate mom's 50th birthday. They celebrated Sophia's graduation from the University of Southern California. The couple even celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary in May 2022, posting tributes to each other on Instagram. There is not enough words to describe what this incredibly selfless, dedicated, patient woman has meant to our lives, and I only wish they could be another 25. Thank you, sweetheart. The Rocky Star captioned a photo carousel of him and his wife. Jennifer shared her own snapshot collection, where she thanked Sly for making her laugh, loving her, and protecting their family. Our marriage keeps getting better every year. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together, she added. The posts seemed like heartfelt dedications of love and commitment, so it was such a shock when fans found out the couple might be splitting. In August 2022, the now 76-year-old was spotted covering up the tattoos he'd gotten in honor of his wife. Around the same time, Jennifer posted an Instagram with her daughters with the caption, These girls are my priority. Nothing else matters. The four of us forever. Hashtag truth. Hashtag family. Hashtag forever. These subtle hints sparked rumors about Stallone's marriage. Was he heading for another divorce? Though a rep for the actor initially denied any trouble, reports claim that on August 19th, Flavin filed a petition in a Palm Beach County, Florida court for dissolution of marriage and other relief. The day after the news broke, an insider told People Magazine that the couple had been unhappy for quite some time. The kids have always just been part of your relationship. Right, and that's a huge thing. I mean, it's a big distraction. Right. So it's almost like you have to get to know each other again. The source said Flavin's decision wasn't about just one issue, adding that the couple had lots of issues for years and she just had enough. At the time, the TMZ tabloid obtained the pair's court documents detailing the dividing of assets and all such things that come with divorce. We thought for sure this was the end of Sylvester and Jennifer's marriage. A month later, Stallone fueled reconciliation rumors when he posted a photo of himself and Flavin holding hands on Instagram. Stallone and Flavin have their backs to the camera, making it unclear when the photo was taken. Wonderful, he captioned the post, including an old family photo from when his three daughters were little. We think that Sylvester's post was a reflection, the realization that he would lose someone who loved him for 34 years and, in the process, damaged the beautiful family they'd built. As fans of the Creed actor, we also had a feeling that he wouldn't let his family go without a fight. He is iconic for that skill, after all. But now, Stallone is in his mid-70s, and even action heroes mellow out in their older years. By the end of September, we found out that the star and his wife had called off their divorce after talking things out and were officially back together. An insider shared that the lovebirds had been spending more time together and slowly figuring things out since reconciling. According to the source, an issue in the marriage came from communication, but the pair have been working on that. Reports also claimed that the divorce filing took Stallone by surprise. Apparently, the businesswoman had been telling her husband that she would file, but he didn't seem to believe her. When she filed for divorce, it was because she felt unheard and had no other options. Other reports said that Sly had been working very hard to win his wife back, and in October 2022, Stallone would confirm this. The star told the Sunday Times newspaper that the brief split was a very tumultuous time. There was a reawakening of what was more valuable than anything, which is my love for my family, he said. Sylvester realized that his family should take precedence over his work, and that was a hard lesson to learn. The Silver Fox also shared his lessons about being part of a family, specifically fatherhood. Stallone feels he should have paid more attention to his daughters while they were growing up. He was always a very career-oriented person, and has now realized that he might not have a lot of time left with his kids. The actor has since been making up for lost time and being more involved in his daughter's lives. When a daughter knows you care, she's there forever, the 76-year-old shared. In February 2023, Paramount announced that the Stallone family is the latest to join the reality TV world. The actor, his wife, and his daughters will all feature on the show. As per the press release, after playing some of the most legendary characters in cinematic history, three-time Academy Award nominee Sylvester Stallone is ready to give cameras access to what he would consider the most significant role of his lifetime, Dad. The eight-part reality series is set to debut on the streaming service this spring. In the meantime, Sylvester Stallone and Jennifer Flavin are working on their marriage. After 34 years, the couple wasn't ready to let go of their love. The actor also makes it known that he messed up by putting work before his family, but he's trying harder to be a family man now. We're so glad the lovebirds decided to work things out.
Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We love it if you could share our channel with your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. Be well and be kind.